Um, I was going to say this would be the person that we we saw in the uh, in the in the thingamajiggy, but I don't think so. Into the Red String Club. Absent on the rocks. Welcome to the Red String Club, Miss. I'm afraid I can't just serve that to you. It's not. This is not your usual bar. Here, you tell me. This is not your usual bar. Here, you tell me how you feel, and I fix you a matching drink. And I feel like asking you for a series of questions regarding why you're prying into my client's business. How dry? You must be a lawyer. No, that's correct. I'm here representing Supercontinent's interests. What was Diana, Diana Myers' business here? Hold your horses. Apart from serving drinks, this music's getting real. Also an information broker. The questions have a price tag in this club. Okay, how much? Here's my deal. You ask as many questions as you want, then I get to ask that many questions myself. Fair enough. Although I should inform you that, unlike you, I won't be able to disclose any of my clients' sensitive information. Fair enough. Although I must let you know that, unlike you, I know my way around empathy and subtlety. You risk leaking more information than you might think. I'll take my chances. James Donovan, owner of the Red Strings Club, it's nice to meet you. Did you know this is the last rated game on Twitch? The last rated or least rated? Uh, Iron Amy Kase, corporate lawyer at Supercontinent. Shall we commence business? Fire away. Phone's gotta go on the floor. Stupid phone. Uh, what was her business here? She's an old friend. I wanted to gather some intel on SPW. We're not saying that. I hired her to do some implant work. No, she's an old friend. She pays me a visit every now and then. We had a drink and caught up. That's it. Please at least have the decency not to lie to me. I won't lie to you either. If we can't disclose something, I will clearly specify so. Except that was the truth. Friendship might sound alien in your world, but we still keep loving each other at street level. Dot, dot, dot. Kept Diana safe. Kept Diana safe from Naomi's inquiry. So she might be trying to kill, um, what you may call it? Oh, it's the least rated. Is this your first playthrough? Yes, it is. Uh, I would please, if you can, um, keep it spoiler free. Not just for me, but for other people watching as well. Next question is about Proxima organization. They've been making trouble for my client lately. I'd like to know exactly what Proxima's got on Super Nintendo LTD. Yay! Alex, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Team Patson. Sorry, Alex TMXK, XC, sorry. Uh, let's see. So we could tell her about the findings. Or that, that we snatched in a car unit. It's right there. I mean, this would be... I think I'm going to go middle option here. Does your client know that Proxima snatched one of their top secret Akara androids? Is that true? So you're confirming the existence of such androids. Saves us both some time and skip the captious questions, sir. Okay, okay. Save your rhetorical, rhetorical ones to that. Fair enough, just tell me what you know. From what I've heard, Proxima got their hands on an old version of an Akara. I know they've been experimenting with it. I don't know what they've gotten out of it. That must be good since Akara was the main business of the girl that infiltrated your clinic. Aiden, thank you so much as well for the follow. Welcome to Team Fatson. Team Fatson. They're like a worst name ever, but that's what we're called. That's useful information. Thank you. Next question. Where is Johanna Septis? Come again? Where is Johanna Septis? You're saying that as if I should know her. Know her. What a poor information dealer you are if you don't even know Supercontinent's chief operations officer. What's the matter? Is she missing? Oh, forget about it. That was all I had to ask. My turn then. Three questions. Can't have you sitting there without a drink though. This is a club after all. Okay, but I won't be telling you how I feel or any of that nonsense. Don't worry. You let me know enough about yourself already for me to work my magic. Trust me, you'll like this. Okay, so what do we got? We got stress, ambition, and remorse. We also have this pill. If we wanted to like go back to the beginning of the conversation, I'm debating it. 
I don't think, I don't think it's time for the pill. So we need one of these. And now we need to choose either remorse or stress. I think I'm going to go with remorse. Actually, you know what? No, no. She wanted absinthe when she came in. So why don't we give her exactly what she asked for? Just absinthe on the rocks. I, I think I'm right. Hmm, stress. I, I'm going to go with this. We have this. If we, if we need to go back, we can. I'm going to go with it. So I got my absinthe on the rocks in the end. You really know your game, though. This is the best glass of absinthe I've ever had. Really invigorating. I feel great. Glad you like it. She seems to be a power. She seems to be power drunk. Time to attack. Time to attack. Choose a topic wisely. All right. What's the deal with Johanna Septis? Tell me more about social psyche welfare's legality. Who's the highest authority on SBW? Bluff, why didn't the CEO tell me about you? Bluff, will everything be ready for the unveiling of the SPW next week or serve another drink? I'm inclined to go... I don't think we can bluff. We were told that she's like powerful. So I don't think we'll be able to bluff. I think what we need to do... I think we go with this one because she's going to like want to brag about it. It's not next week. Now I know it isn't next week. Congratulations. Should have set her mood to a more fragile status for this bluff. Frick, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Oh, that's fine. So we can't bluff here. I'm going to say legality here still can't imagine how you convince the government to buy into it are you really that naive this is a joint effort with the central government and its legality is quite simple every implant user signs a contract before acquiring any upgrades the fine print specifies that the user's physiology may be altered maybe use the pill i, I might go back with the pill yeah read that contract i, I read that point and it's supposed to be there to ensure a stable mind-body environment so the wearer can avoid conflicts with their upgrades. Yes, and the Ministry of Health has determined depression, anxiety, and such serious social hazards. Wasn't that supposed to be so the state would cover treatment for such afflictions? Exactly. It also poses a threat to the proper functioning of our clients' upgrades. Listen, Donovan, it's quite simple. When you use hardware developed by a corporation, you also have to comply with their firmware. You don't have to up at your iPad, your PlayStation, nowadays even your microwave, just to keep them working. This is just one step further and it's duly specified in the terms and conditions of the update. Do you think this game is boring? Absolutely not. I'm loving it. Uh, but nobody reads that. When you agree, you state you've read and understood the terms and conditions. Plus you can always decline if you don't like the new firmware. Yeah, and render the implant obsolete in the process. Hey, nobody is forcing anyone to wear the upgrades. Okay. Serves me right for trying to reason with a corporate lawyer. All right, last question. I think I'm going to serve you another drink. I think I'm going to go one of you. I kind of want to go with now. Oh, I don't know if I should go stress or remorse. Let's go stress. There. And I am going to throw the pill in. Okay. That. 
sir. I mean, he's standing right there as he gives her the pill. That's a little weird, but that's fine. Look, I shouldn't be wasting my time here. Make your questions quick. I have a lot on my plate. Drink won't hurt. Relax. She looks stressed. Let's exploit that. Three questions left. Uh, why didn't the CEO tell me about you? Wait, how do you know our CEO? Are you talking about the CEO of Supercontinent LTD? She didn't come to this dive, did she? Wow, dive, really? I'm sorry, I just find it terribly shocking. I like that she's, okay. She's got different mannerisms as she's stressed out. That's really cool. Just found it terribly shocking that you dealt with Rahita, Redhika, and I barely even seen her. Plus she shouldn't have, she shouldn't be visiting these kind of places. Why not? She's not a baby. Barely did she come by herself. Always meet alone. I'll let the board members know immediately. Slow down. This is why is this such a big deal? I'm done with this topic, and I'll make sure you never get to see Radhika again. Wow. Okay. What the hell is the matter with this Radhika girl? Kind of seems to be right on the money with this. Yeah, we got. Hmm. Okay. So now let's bluff again. Oops. I didn't mean to click that. Fuck me, it can't be next week. That's what my people on the inside told me. Those clowns from marketing are going to hear from me. We're always cleaning up after them in the legal department. I don't know what we should do here. Who's in charge of marketing? A couple of my journal friends already know. They told me they're even doing TV. Should we double down on it? Journal friends, no. Already told me there. I think we go with this one. Seriously, are they already onto that phase of Gene Psyche? Gene, what? Ah, marketing is a stupid name for the press operation. Forget about it. Cool. We are learning so much information now that we've stressed her out. No problem. Okay, last question. Kind of did this one already, and um, maybe go with this. I shouldn't have asked you about that. Now I'm kind of in a pinch here. Look, it might be able to help you if you can tell me a bit of bit more about it. Well, given I asked you where she is, clearly the problem is that she's missing. Maybe I could help you. Why do you think she's missing? When did she disappear? What are her last known whereabouts? I think we know where her last known whereabouts were because it was in the lab with Akara. Um, when did she disappear? Would have been like recently. So I think like it would have been recently because again, she was recently in the lab with Kara. So I think we go with, why do you think she's missing? Going into details means sharing sensitive information. Can't you work your way around it? I don't need to know about her project or whatever. Just did she run away or something? Maybe she's been kidnapped. You know, any theories? Well, we have a couple hounds tracking her. In addition to me, we have reason to believe she hasn't been kidnapped. Why would she run away from her own company then? Last thing we know is, last thing we know is that some of her co-workers heard her crying in the bathroom. Very unlike her. So the theory is that she might be a problem with her implants. So that was the one um, earlier where we implanted uh, the empathy one, right? So she's probably super empathetic. Or somebody drugged her. We need to track her down before she does something stupid. I've already said enough. Knowing that, have you heard anything that might be able to help us? Perplexed. Nothing has reached my ears yet, though. I'll stay on the lookout for any clues, and I'll call you if I find out anything useful at that at a price, of course. Money's not a problem, so if you find anything, just call me, and I'll be appropriately and you'll be appropriately rewarded. It seems that Ara Downer's rogue implants have fulfilled their purpose. Yep. Ara gave Johanna the hippie, which magnifies compassion. Maybe she was having second thoughts and broke down. Well, I'm afraid you've run out of questions. I've got too much to do tonight. Goodbye. Sure, go spread law throughout town. You seem to be enjoying yourself. Just in case I'll inform you of the current situation, Supercontinent is going through turbulent times right now. That's good. That's That spells change for the company. I've seen it many times. But in the process, there's usually a trail of casualties. The way you're playing right now, you've got a ticket to become one of them. You warned Mr. Bartender. Didn't know corporate lawyers were in the business of extending such stylish death threat. Ah, there's no empty fates. There are many fates worse than death when up against corporate law. Have a good night. All right, see you later. Didn't you turn off her implants? No. Thank you for coming. See you next time.
was my performance to your satisfaction this time excellent thank you very much so quiz time now if you please of course i find it quite amusing in fact seven out of ten more earns me a prize right go ahead okay is naomi Kosi a psychopath wait aren't you going to ask me if she was attracted to me this time the relevant in for naomi's case answer the question Mm, no. What is her top priority right now? To investigate Diana's loyalty, to find Johannes Septus, access the danger posed by... Oh, these are three really good ones. Um, first thing she brought... Like, she's following Diana. She brought up all three of these. I'm going to go with Diana's loyalty. No. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Is SPW in jeopardy? Yes. No. Yes. 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 Does Naomi believe SPW a good thing? Um, she didn't really mention. She might be. Or sorry, she might think that. Um, hmm. Thinking back through the conversation. I'm going to say no. I think that technology manufacturers have the right to alter their products after sale. What do you mean? Supercontinents designed, created, and distributed the human upgrades. Do they have the right to modify them? As in by adding SPW to them, among other things. Do they have the right to modify them? No. Once purchased, it's yours. No technology bears responsibility. Yes, but they should be clear about it. Yes, we wouldn't have it without them after all um no technology bears responsibility this one like art where the author can rightfully mutate their creation as they please something you make accessible to the public that heavily impacts everyday life it bears many ethical liabilities why does an artist have the right to mutate their work as they please talk to george lucas because it's ultimately theirs art is personal isn't technology the same? What's the boundary between art and so-called technology? Basically, consumer products affect everyday life and society, carry a lot of responsibility. Art can change society the same as technology. Let's say then that the line is how they do so. Art affects the world by permeation. It is perceived. Technology physically changes how people interact with the world. Art changes our understanding, whilst technology changes our verbs. It's deep. Steve, hold the car technology make it possible. Okay. It's very interesting how humans classify reality through language. Thank you. Is that a question or just food for thought anyway? Indeed, it was the 10th, 10th question. Thank you for elaborating. How well did I do? You answered 8 out of 10. Even better. Congratulations, you won. What did I win? What did I win? Short-term memory resistor. Resetter. So we got another pill. Cool. It's actually like really helpful. Oh, I thought it was going to be a different prize this time. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. That variety in rewards can improve the game's design. This game came out two weeks ago. Um, which I think less than that. Maybe like a week ago. I'll try to think of something different for the next time we play. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Although I got to confess, the anticipation has me excited for the next game already. Glad to hear you're having fun. Listen, I think I'm going to close for today. My gut tells me we won't be getting any more clients until tomorrow. Yes, it doesn't look like it. Can you tell too? Do you have instincts? You human call instincts are just deductions your brain has drawn for you. You can't simply, simply can't follow the logical sequence due to the vast amount of data your brain processes. Unlike you, I'm able to keep up with my brain. So basically, yes, your gut is right. We won't be having any more clients tonight. Kind of rhymed. Good to hear because my leg is killing me let's call it a night all right scene change who is this dude 
Vega. This Vega, I guess, while well, you were just talking, so that's fine. SPW is some sort of digital happy pill. And the, this looks like Vancouver. It's a port man right there. And the mirror neuron algorithm is supposed to spread it even among non-implant users. What kind of voodoo shit is that? Uh, he didn't say shit. I added that. Uh, beats me. Donovan is looking into it. We're pretty much fucked. Supercontinent's private network is inaccessible from the outside, and their tower isn't the kind of place you can just walk into precisely. You left us with a nice farewell present, eh, Adriane? She's going to enjoy all this. Always love the hustle, that punk. Ah, shall we perform the last rites? Do you guys want me in on this? I'm not even part of Proxima. For some reason, Ariana has chosen you as one of her digital heirs, so just accept her. She shall live through us. One day. Okay, I'll go first. Ariadane, have your empathy. Reminds me of Laser Shoot Larry. <laughs> it is an action adventure game. Or not action adventure, adventure game. Let me better read into our enemy's souls. There is a lot of nudity in here too, so yeah, I can <laughs> see it. Uh, let me better understand your ally, our allies' passions. Oh, we're taking like part of her apart. I'll have your wits. Allow me to outsmart our foes. Help me survive on the field. Brain. Ooh. I'll have your knowledge or I'll have your determination. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with knowledge. Also, stranger, welcome in. How are you doing? Hope you don't regret this. Dude, couldn't you be a bit more poetic? And look as corny as you two? No way. Okay. Release her into the ocean now. Goodbye, warrior. Oh, okay, right in the Pacific Ocean. Donovan. Hey, Brandius, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm about to open shop. Yeah, Kara's doing great. Got to see them. They even designed a little game for us to play between clients. Come on, don't be jealous. You can play with us when you're back. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> Did you find anything useful? Wow, you sure work fast. When is this security breach happening tomorrow? I just started gathering info. We need more time. Sure, there won't be another opportunity. Shit. You'll need to do us a favor then. Uh, what do we want to do here? I don't think we know anything about the mirror neuro, or neurology logarithm at all. This one would not be bad. Basically what they're doing here in, in the options is we trust the first lady or the second lady. I think we're going to go with maybe the first one. Yeah. She was genuinely frightened, I'm telling you. Diana has this crazy theory that the company's current CEO isn't Jack B. Gaynor anymore. Laugh all you want, but it happened to find out she's right. Got it out of Nyama Kase, supercontinent's corporate lawyer. Tricked her into chatting about the new CEO, and she started talking about someone named Radhika. Should start there. And Brandius, be careful. She might be dangerous. Donovan, someone's approaching the bar. Gotta go. Take care. Bye. By the alarm. Who is it? Uh-oh. Oh, look at this dude. Got a bike mask on. Oh, he's coming around the bar. Ghost, I've heard you craft drinks based on emotions. You heard right. I've also heard you deal with information. You seem to be well informed about information. I happen to be a dealer of sorts myself. He's hot. <laughs> Get you whatever you wish for. He's talking through it. There's only one rule. No weapons, no living beings. I also happen to be thirsty as hell. So I thought we could... Great business partners, you and I, Donovan. What do you say? I'm pretty confident I can quench that thirst of yours as long as you accept information as payment. I could really use an exotic supplier. Sure, don't worry about the details. It is not a mask. Yeah, I'm seeing that now, yeah. Money is overrated in this city anyway. Let's take care of my thirst first. Ooh. That's cool. All right, so we got to put two ice boys in there. Awesome. Okay, got to go this way. The 
There's not going to be enough room in this glass for this. Hmm, looks like our regular bartending won't do here. We're going to we're going to need this. This is the shaker. With it we can combine two or more spirits to obtain a powerful mix. The resultant the resultant blend will have the combined effects of its ingredients. For example, if the bourbon moves the soul disc up, the tequila moves it right, the resultant combination will move the soul disc diagonally towards the upper right. So you can achieve the same results using half the amount of spirits. That leaves extra space in the glass to explore new, otherwise unreachable emotions. So use the shaker, just pour whatever you want inside it, then grab it, shake it up. Okay, all right, so. Let's throw this in there. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. We've done it. This guy's cool. And he just, like, psychically picked it up. All right. Mmm, this flavor. So the legends were true. Diagonal strats, genius. So you're able to sync the customer's emotions with your cocktails. And you tell, yeah, I'm cut from a different cloth than the rest of your mortals. Then the rest of your mortals. Don't sweat it, your secret's safe with me. It is a mask. Hmm, okay. As long as you enjoy your drink, I'm happy. I forgot about that. <laughs> Be happy then because I haven't had a drink this good in ages. Good. How can I help you? Do you have something in mind for this partnership of ours? For now, let's say I'm interested in backing your crusade against Supercontinent. So let me know if I can get you anything you need. Hmm, you said you can get anything? Yes, as long as it isn't alive. I don't do weapons either. Do you do liquors? Ha, no one's ever sent me for booze, but sure, can do. These liquors I need aren't your regular spirits. Red, Secret, and Blue Whisper. My master, previous owner of the Red Strings Club, had a couple of bottles, but I haven't been able to get any more since those ran dry. I could work wonders with them. Sounds like an interesting endeavor. Consider it done. I'll be back with your stuff. Thanks for the drink. Did it again. He lifted it to take a sip. No. Did you see that? That's psychic. See you later. Tight jeans, studded jacket, skull face. Hoodie. That's the coolest dude I've ever seen. That was a bit intense. Quiz time then. No. No. I can't. I was unable to read the subject. Ooh. Who is he? Oh, looks like you're not omnipotent after all. I'm sorry. Hope you're sorry that puts me at ease, to be honest. I find flaws to be a quick shortcut to empathy. Virtue begets admiration. Sure, but a weakness here and there draws compassion and sympathy. No one likes a know-it-all. True. Ideal goth man. <laughs> no, he lifted his mask to take a sip. Oh, I missed that. You see, I'll try to fail more often so you can feel more comfortable. No, that wasn't the point. Just be yourself. I like you already, okay? Be myself. Don't overthink it. Can't be anyone else. Okay. I'm still curious. Who is he? Hmm. This is my first time meeting him in person, but I've heard of him before. None of my contacts treated him with treated sorry none of my contacts treated with him directly but we all heard his legends a bizarre smuggler who can get you anything you want in less than 24 hours they call him ghost he never asks for money although clients always pay aren't you afraid can't say i'm not i'm sure your empathetic or empathetic devices have already told you on the other hand ghost is not the only supernatural dealer around i detect a client approaching the club background check Lisa Robillard, age 29, marketing director at Supercontinent. Oh, nice. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Do you know her? She's one of the wildest night beasts a neon has ever witnessed. You run a club in the city, you're baited to meet her. It's Pam from Archer. Welcome to the Red Strings Club. I love you. What a way to start a conversation. Me too, Larissa. I missed you. It's been five days since your last visit. How cute. Did you actually count the days? Like every bartender in this town. Sorry I haven't been here sooner, Donnie. It's been a hectic week at work. 
I haven't set a foot in a bar in three days already, and I've heard many of my colleagues have been visiting the Red String Club as of late. So unfair. Came here as soon as I finished tying up loose ends at the office. I have to rebrand if my only clientele is going to be court breed bastards. Please don't. This is one of those few real places left to have a drink in the city. Although if you actually rebrand, you have my card, right? You never miss an opportunity. Just love my job. You have any more of the stuff left? Of my stuff left. Fully stocked for your stuff. Since you're a bit anxious, we're old friends, Donnie. You can cut to the chase and tell me what it is I can do for you. Ah, I can't add a thing for you, can I? The matter is quite delicate, though. Closely related to your recent projects. I see. That explains why Diana and Naomi came here yesterday. One day you'll have to explain to me how you pull so many strings without leaving the counter. I told you a hundred times. The club is haunted. I'm a prisoner of the red strings. But in exchange, the club now... The club somehow weaves fate to please my desires. Won't ever stop spouting that mystic crap, huh? You gotta admit it's great marketing, though. Building your own urban legend. That's all you want. At least acknowledge my cocktails do pack some myth magic. It's undeniable. You always make me feel things no other man ever draws out of me. All right then. Well, I've ascribed to your charisma. Are you in the mood for some? Share some intel with me. Oh, I'm absolutely in the mood. However, you're right that this is quite the delicate matter, so why don't we spice things up a little? I'd love to see your magic at work, but you always end up getting me horny and I spill everything you want to know. Sorry. So here's the deal. You can ask me whatever you want, but before each question, you have to serve me a drink. And you can't repeat cocktails, okay? Sure, sounds fun. Fantastic. Now please, I've been sober for far too long, make me a drink. So... How do we do this? We obviously need to like diagonally do things, so that's no problem. All right, so we got madness, euphoria, lust, and depression. Um, maybe let's do lust first. So, or like that much of that and then this much of this trying to be like half and half it seems about half and half shake shake i shook left and right now why was i holding it i just <laughs> it just spilled tequila and vodka all over the floor whoops Alright, so don't hold the mouse button as you shake. Tip number one. Just shake like this. Alright, that's pretty shaken. Let's move this over here. Grab you. Grab you. Now pour, baby. There we go. Serve it. Serve it, serve it. I've actually done it, you sensual son of a bitch. Did what? Don't play coy with me. It only makes it worse. They've got me all wet. <laughs> so either ask me a question or fuck me already. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, there's no option for that. So guess we're not picking it. I was not expecting that from this. Oh, I love this so much. As do I. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, how are you going to convince people to swallow SPW and when? Have you met Supercontinent's new CEO? Any marketing ideas for the Akara androids? And are you aware of the Johannes Septis situation? I'm actually going to go with maybe this top one first. Aha! I was sure you'd be quite knowledgeable regarding SPW at this point. 
I even know about Genesec. So can you save any detours and get straight to the point? Wow, you're going against Supercontinent's guns ablazing, huh? Correct. And I believe you're one of the most dangerous pieces on this board. Success among the masses rests on your lusty soul or shoulders. It's got a nice necklace on. Uh, oh my god, I love <laughs> I love when you play badass. When and how? Shit. This is plain torture, Donnie. Okay, how about about the when? It's already begun. What? We started with a soft launch. Activated among 4% of the users. Feedback has been astonishingly positive so far. So far. Yeah, let's find out if um if Brandius is part of the soft launch. Wait, is Brandius among the soft launch users? Oh, come on. Forget about that clown already. What can he give you that I can't? I can wear a strap on if you... Hey, focus. <laughs> hey, focus. Just focus, lady. There's no way to, to know who got the silent update. I'm sorry. Wouldn't you be able to tell if he changed? Fair enough. Who knows? He's always been a smiling bastard. Oh, God, stop it. All right, then. When will it become 100% operational? Everything goes according to plan in a couple of weeks. Shit, that's so sudden. Can't believe this has flown under my radar for so long. Okay, serves you right for underestimating corporations. Give me a break. It's just too much happening nowadays for one implant free guy to keep track of it. Yeah, yeah, you're adorable when you, with your spiritual or spiral notebook. Don't be mad. Can't expect to tease a cat and not get toyed with a little. All right, Mousy. All right, let's move on. When are we going to announce it? Next week. It's going to be huge. Don't bring, don't bring it with me. But you should see the teaser. It's so damn sexy. I'm sure of it. All right, let's move on to the how. Okay, here's the thing. The SPW update is going to be free. Marketing won't, won't be about, sorry, marketing won't be about selling, but celebrating. Social Psyche Warfare is going to open the gates to a better world. The Bass even agreed to set the Doomsday Clock a couple of minutes back. Oh my fucking god. What a load of bullshit. The celebration will come with a new financing program backed by the government. So you can get an upgrade in finance at zero interest thanks to the new healthcare plan. Implants are gonna sell are selling are gonna be selling like hotcakes. Don't you feel guilty for pushing all this into the world? Have you heard about the MW, N, MW, MNA? I was thinking like NWA for some reason. Don't you feel guilty? Why should I? I'm not the one calling the shots here. My job is to make products attractive, not to judge anybody. Why you can't just wash your hands like that? Yes, I can. Maybe I'd be troubled if I had to go around injecting people with SPW against their will, but marketing, nothing wrong with persuasion. Did we... Is she one of the ones from the beginning of the game that we like made her persuasion skills better and also purple smoke just notice that yo that's gonna be a thing freaking watch this happen next gen vapes have purple smoke uh isn't it something we do all the time persuading other people and buying our shit aren't you my beautiful bar bartender a fucking master of manipulation or is persuasion only justified when it aligns with your agenda it's hitting us. It's hitting us right deep right here. Uh, problem comes when you do it from over mass media. It's justified if, if it's for a good cause. And ah, you actually may be right. I'm just going to go with the bottom one. Can't be this hypocritical when I spend night after night messing with people's heads. That you do it through Twitter and YouTube instead of from behind a counter shouldn't be the issue. You just need to get your voice heard by more people. Or by the right people. Give me the man to sway and I shall move the court. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's do this one here. MNA. Sounds familiar. What is it? The mirror neuron algorithm. Oh yeah, don't really know what that's about. But I heard Edgar mumbling about the last time I went to this place. Edgar who? Dr. Edgar Coldstream, the resident mad scientist at Supercontinent. He's supposed to be in charge of this MNA thing, plus he's directing the development of the Akara androids. Cool. Can't wait to jump onto the marketing of those things. I haven't seen them live yet, but I've seen some concepts. Don't look behind you. Just don't look behind you, and you're good. They're pretty cool with this girlish body type. Very, very, very much alike to your aid there. I'm sorry, but I'm not a robot. 
That's exactly what a robot would say if robots could lie. <laughs> ha ha ha. Ha ha. So, Edgar. Gotta say the guy's pretty hot for a mad scientist. Did you get laid with the sci- or the- Did you get laid with the genius? You should be warned about it. Or could you tell Edgar I want to meet him? We gotta go with this one here. Did you get laid? Absolutely. It was really freaky too because he replaced his whole lower body with bionics. And he had this set of interchangeable dicks. Whoa, too much information. Serves you right for asking. Or just like swap them out. Just be like, oh, I've fired this one. Sure, it's glass. It's good. Next. All right, what's this one? Oh, it's porcelain. Cool. Next. This one's rubber. All right, cool. <laughs> oh. It's like, it just like clips in. You just like, just clip, replace, move on, put the next one in, clip. Could you tell Edgar I want to meet him? Yeah, no problem. He's a great guy. I don't know if you two will get along though. Why? He's a bit unstable, but in a good sense. In what sense? The guy's behavior is a bit chaotic. He may be hard to read. Well, I'll see for myself, I guess. If you like him, I'm sure he's a nice guy. One of them's magnetic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that made me. Oh, that was good. Uh, you should be warned about the MA. Why well, now? Don't give me any of those puppy dog eyes. I'm serious. This affects us all, even people like us who don't wear implants. The MA is supposed to propagate the effects of SPW to the whole population. Really? How? That's what I want to find out and avoid if possible. I don't believe you, you must have heard wrong. Oh, it looks like you're not so happy with SPW if it affects you, huh? Darling, I'm all right with selling weapons, not with getting shot by them. Fair. In any case, it sounds pretty far-fetched, like some cheap dystopian sci-fi plot device. Like a MacGuffin. Even if it was plausible, I don't see supercontinent of all corps carrying that out. Hope you're right, just wanted to warn you before it's too late. Thank you. Let me know, I'll be happy to help. Still, it'd be better if you discuss this with Edgar. I'm sure that, like SPW, this isn't as bad as you're imagining. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Time for another drink. You should really be thinking of how to live with it rather than how to stop it. It's rather inevitable Inevitable at this point. We'll see. Okay, enough taking advantage of my sex drive. Serve me a new drink. So we can't serve... Never mind. We can't serve it anyway. Uh... I don't know what we should do next. Madness. I kind of want to like balance it, right? Like, so this one was lust. Um, if we go euphoria, then we got to do two negatives in a row. We probably want to do positive, negative, positive, negative. So maybe let's do madness. So we got to go this one. And we got to go this one. No. This one? No. This one? No. This one? Uh, it's about half and half there. Okay. Shake, shake. Oh, so close. One drop. There we go. Serve it. Serve it. What an arresting drink. This makes me think of how we identify with our clothes and words. They're not quite us as an identity. Moreover, in the same way we're not our dress, we're not our feet, or our belly buttons. We're not any of those particularities, but the sum of them. Very true. Wait, here comes the mind blow. The same way my shoes aren't me, other people aren't me either. I mean, you, Donnie, clearly aren't me, right? Right? So if shoes, dress, toes, and lipstick aren't me, but in some way together they are, we could say that in some way you are me too, no? Let's see it. Maybe with the proper questions I can fish some juicy info out of this philosophical noise. 
where should I direct this madness? Um, let's see. Cerebral as fuck, yeah. Agreed. Um, have you met their new CEO? Many witches in the past have used mirrors and balls for scrying. She's also got like quite a different demeanor here too. But if I tell you Fate Mans are the best surface in which to spy the future, is it one of your cocktails? What do you see? I'm more interested in the present. And do you see Radhika in it? I think we go with that. Radhika, you're a knower of names. That's a powerful war word to speak. The title of the Queen of Pangea. At the age of 15, she's almost ready to rule us all. She's only 15. Don't underestimate her queen because of her inferior age, fool. She's more capable than many ancient men put together. The day will come when you'll have to kneel before her. Let's see about that. All right, time for your next drink. Okay, so that was, let's go up with Euphoria. So we need two of those and we gotta go this way. There we go. And we gotta go this way. And hopefully that's like close to half and half. Although I don't think you need to be exact with it. You just need like roughly half and half and then you're good. We spilled a little. Probably okay. <laughs> One little drop. Serve it. Whoa. Holy shit. Holy fucking yes. You like it. This is the best fucking drink I've had in my life. Ah, I love you, Donnie. I love you so much. Love you too, my goddess of fun. Okay, shoot me before this beautiful rush vanishes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Not shoot me, shoot before. All right. Um, let's go with this. Are you aware of the Johannes Septus situation? Oh my God. Are you on that? It's been ages since something like that thrilling happened in the company. What's happening? She, well, you know what? I don't feel like talking about it. Hey, why? Didn't you just say it was thrilling? Well, yes, it's pretty crazy shit, but Johanna really went loony, just lost her shit in the deepest of shitholes, but it's pushing her to the brink of suicide. Mm. So you're making me feel horrible, inducing euphoria and asking me about a broken down colleague. There, you're heartless. Well, I'm very sorry, Louis. I didn't know this totally backfired. My apologies. Can I make it up with another cocktail? You better. Ah, uh, is it pill time? Should we drug her? I think we're going to do it. I need the answer for that question, so... We're going to do it. I don't condone just drugging people as a bartender, but... Here we are. Okay, she's gonna forget everything she just told us, which is great. Why can't you just stick to beautiful feelings, Donnie? Sadness isn't ugly. I love all the melancholy you hide under that glittering veneer. It's incredibly beautiful, like meeting your raw self. You know, you're the only person that's seen me cry since I was a teen, right? And I feel very fortunate you allowed me to witness such a tender sight. Ah, quit smooth talking me and ask me something already. I need to wash out this feeling with another drink. How about we go, so she's sad. So we, we had these two to go. So let's go with this one. Uh, yes, poor Johanna, I guess you're just celebrating she's lost it, aren't you? I wouldn't ever rejoice in personal misery. Never would. That's absolutely true. I despise corporations, not people. Absolutely. Hell, I even despise Proxima. But Eridane was my friend. Who? Never mind. The thing is that no, I don't like people suffering no matter their beliefs. What's happening is that grave. 
Johanna broke down of stress. She turned into this kind of hippie Zen master. I don't know. No one's found her location yet, but she's been sending emails and making phone calls to me and my colleagues, telling us about the world's, the wonders of life and embracing a new philosophy. She's got this plan to turn Supercontinent into a full charity project. She's very displeased with the Supercontinent's new direction, and she believes that we should all be taking it slow and be investing more time into establishing dialogues with our customers. Fair enough. Most of the calls end up with her crying over the phone, saying she's sorry that she'll never atone for what she's done at Supercontinent. Here it takes a dark turn. If she doesn't manage to make us change, she'll probably going to end her life. Unable to bear the guilt. Okay, that gal needs help. I got a Leonardo location. I'll let you know as soon as possible. Thank you. Really appreciate it. No problem. Another drink. Please. Okay, so. I think we need to go back up to Euphoria. And ask about um, the marketing for the Akara. So, got to put a couple, put one on the floor, another one on the floor for good luck. Tequila time. Tequila. Uh, and bourbon. For real, if somebody just served me tequila and bourbon as a drink, I don't know if I'd be super thrilled. At least put like a cherry or a maraschino on it. Oh, perfect pour. She got, oh my god. Yep. Do you like it? Pure absinthe. <laughs> Alright, we, we've seen this. Yep. Okay. Um, any marketing ideas? Oh. Car androids, they're just adorable. Haven't seen them in person, just concept art. Can't wait to start working on the marketing for them. I've been too busy with the amazing SPW, but I can already foresee how a car is going to be a glorious project to work on. Happy to see you excited. Moreover, I love the guys who are in charge of its development. Dr. Edgar Coldstreams, do you know him? I, you two should meet. Two of the most sexy men I know in the same room. Just imagine it makes me shake. <laughs> I'll tell them to come by. You're gonna love each other. All right, this might take a turn. Two guys, one girl. All right, we'll see. I want more drinks. Yes. Um. Well, we're like we're done. We don't need any more questions answered. So, I guess we're just gonna get her drunk. Time to drink. Tequila and vodka. There we go. There's a lot of booze there. I think I've actually had tequila vodka before. Go. Serve it. Ah, you've actually done it, you sensual son of a bitch. Alright, we did this already. Bum, 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 bum. I guess we gotta answer them all. Um, let's do this. I'm just gonna skip through this, I think. I don't know what this does. Alright, so I probably wanted to choose the other one there to just try to get different answers, but it's okay. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, actually, you know what? We can do some other stuff. We can do this. I guess we already uh, asked all three of those, so it's not really super important. So we'll move on. We already know about this. They're basically Apple uh, as a company. I don't know why he's going through the same stuff again. It might have been a waste of pill. Waste of the pill. Oh, uh, there we go. Skipping through the dialogue because we already heard it. Uh, okay. One more drink and then she might actually like fall over. We'll find out. Come on. 
He's a bit unstable. Enough about Edgar. Let's move on. Serve me a new drink. All right, one of these. Madness, that was it. Uh, we gotta get you in there. Why does Madness have a plane? Drag this all the way up. And this one. Okay, good job. Ah, wah. Oh, we got it. Serve. All right, come on. We already did this. Why no, your shoes aren't you, you philosophical red dress wearing girl with a crazy good haircut. All right, moving on. Okay, last question. Uh, yeah, we already know this one too. Uh, actually we can do something different here. Um, what do you see? A woman, a very capable one, formidable and terrible. The world in awe will chant her true name, Radhika, but she's not ready to ascend to power yet. Shadows are nurturing her might. The future of this world and the next rest in her teenage hands. Thank you, mistress of future events. Let me serve you another drink. Wait, no more magic beverages. What now? A sense of neons calling my name out there. They're summoning me their goddess. But I shan't let them down for neons are invicative. Aha, okay, please go please your cult. Thank you for kickstarting my night, O'Donovan, legendary soulsmith. My pleasure. Go wreak havoc, INS. We shall meet again, my dear alchemist. I would love to have like a conversation with someone like this and like where it's semi role playing and like that's your entire relationship is you just like calling each other like stuff like that. That would be really neat. Never happened though. Thank you for coming. See you next time. Cool.